Oh my gosh. I have two babies. I just visited a rattery. I was hoping to buy a dwarf rat from her, but she only had one, and of course I need to get two. You know, it's a reputable breeder. She only lets you purchase two. She showed me the female rats, and I'm so excited. I don't know if you guys can tell how small they are, but like this is my hand. I didn't even know she put all this stuff in, but she put in some food that they're on, the hemp, or the flax bedding, and a little paper towel roll. They're so cute. This one's the same color of the rats I currently have, like a golden, and this is a roan. Along with the rats, she gave me a little care pouch. It has the food they're currently on. I also bought like a big bag of that, um, and inside here is also some mealworms, some wheatgrass seeds, I think, and just these chew blocks. So I had both Critter Nation cages stacked on top of each other, but for the little critters, I'm just gonna be using one. So I had to move it around, maneuver it around, and just have the one here on the bottom. This is the extra cage. I do love the Critter Nation cage, and I know it is wonderful, but taking it apart and putting it back together is a feat in itself, and it is very challenging to do by yourself. It's so heavy to lift this and maneuver it into little pegs on each side. Right now for the cage, since I literally bought it two days ago, I don't have anything for the bottom to keep the bedding in because obviously I like to put a nice thick layer of bedding so they can dig around and all that. Because I don't have that, it won't be the thickest layer right now, but I will be finding a solution for that very soon and this won't be what they're gonna be usually living with. I use this KT Clean and Cozy Small Pet Bedding. If you're not familiar with my channel, I currently have two rats who are staying in a totally different cage. I put them in a different room so that they can quarantine. But because that cage that they're currently in is quite small, and this new Critter Nation is much, much bigger than what I have, I picked up a ton of supplies for the cage and new food. I also vlogged the process of picking up this Critter Nation cage, the excitement of like finding one for such a good deal. So definitely check that vlog out if you're interested. But I'm gonna be using all those supplies that I hauled in this new cage. I picked up this huge 20 pound bag of adult rat food by Oxbow. This is what I feed my girls right now. And the little girls at the rattery, they were on this mix. I want to buy a bag just to ensure they have like a smooth transition into my care. They're obviously gonna have a little bit of stress going on with this new cage and everything. So I thought it would be great to keep the food the same so that that isn't a stressor for them. Because this new cage is so big, I want to get another litter box. This one is very, very large, so it's definitely much bigger than they are. But my girls are litter trained, and I also want to do that for these girls as well. Sputniks are my girls' favorites, so I had to pick some of those up. I got some hammocks, this is just a foraging toy, and some igloo little hides for them. So I was just unhooking this Oxbow enriched life little toy thing from the top of my cage and she broke. <laughs> so I'll have to attach this with one of the shower hooks or just some string that I've been using. I filled their water bowl. I also want to buy a bottle to put on the side. This isn't the finalized cage, by the way. This is just for right now while they quarantine. Then after like two weeks, I'm gonna put them together. And within that time, I'm gonna make some changes. So this is just the cage that I put together right now. Now, let me put them in and we'll see how they react to their cage. Once they're all settled in, I'll open the cage up and I'll give you a little tour of everything. I've just put the box in so they can leave whenever they please. When I got my first two rats, I picked them up in a big cat animal carrier. Obviously I disinfected it first and all that stuff, but it was a massive carrier and I couldn't fit it inside the cage. So I gently picked them up and just plopped them right into the cage. I didn't mess with them too much or you know play with them. I just put them right into the cage. So I did physically put them in the cage. This time, I don't know if this is the right way to do it, but I feel like this is the least stress is just to put the actual box into the cage. I'll see if they end up getting out. You know, they're quite small, but I have a feeling that they'd be able to get themselves out. That's just like the same color of the rats I have now, like sprout. Oh my God, its ears are so big. Are you tall enough to come out? Are you tall enough? Do you need help? Hi, let me just put you down here. They were just like peeking up out of the box, so I thought they might want a bit of help. Okay. Let me put you down 
Here, go ahead. I've assisted both of them out of the box and I just turned the box over so that they could go in and have like a little safe spot that they, you know, have their scent in. And this is their bedding they used to use. She uses flax, which I don't. So that'll be an adjustment for them. It's even hard for the camera to focus on them because of how small they are. Hi. Do you see her under the... Mm -hmm. Oh, now she's in the igloo. So while the rats are adjusting, I thought I'd give you a little cage tour, a little setup. Okay, so this is obviously the box they came in, so we just wanted to leave this in here so that they, you know, have a comfortable spot. This is just a tissue box, and inside I have some ripped up paper back there where that little one is. I keep saying little one because we don't have names for it yet. I have a litter tray. I use recycled cat litter. Across I have this Ikea tie hanger. I'm just going to focus on the bottom for now. I have this mini igloo and I just have like this little stand. It was used for organization and I've just got it covered. I do want to pick up some fleece so that I'm not using towels like this, just, you know, for their safety. I have two water bowls in here right now. This is one of them. This is the Oxbow No Tip. And then up here, I just have like, this is one of our kitchen bowls and it's pretty heavy. So I feel like that would stay there. Down here, I also have this little organizer. Some of the stuff I kind of just found around my house like this, as well as this stand stool thing. And then over here we have like this little foraging chew toy. I put a platform in here for now. Ideally, I wouldn't need a platform. I'd want a more active layout, but because I don't have the most stuff in here right now, obviously my bigger rats, they have more stuff in that cage, so I can't really put it in here right now. So I do have a platform. Again, I just have the water bowl and another igloo. I picked up a few hammocks today. So I have this little triangle one. I thought the triangle shape was cool and that I could fit it in a corner, but it didn't really work out in a corner, so I put it here. Underneath the platform, I've put this just square shaped hammock as well. And here, there's this little pink pouch that I purchased off of Etsy. These Sputniks are really, really big. I got one full Sputnik and then just the top or bottom, whatever you want to call it, of one. It kind of works as a hammock, the breeder was saying, and she usually doesn't put the top on hers. So I wanted to give that a try. This is just like a little organization thing that I found in my house. I tied it up and I put some ripped up paper inside so that they can forage around, nest in there, whatever they please. And then I've also put in the lava ledges. When the cage is closed, it kind of gives them a spot to step into the hammock or the Sputnik, whatever. I do want to get more stuff, like more of the wooden nibblers, different ledges to put around the cage so it's easier for them to walk around. The breeder mentioned that the girls weren't kept in a wire cage like this, so it would be an adjustment for them to be able to climb and all that stuff, so that'll be fun to see. Seems like this one's kind of having the sneezes. Are you on top of the igloo? And back down. This box looks like it's moving. Hi! You're so silly. It's been just a few hours, I've had dinner, and I came back to check on them, and they weren't around the cage, so they weren't wandering around, and I was like a little bit worried. I was looking in the igloo and everything. And look where they were. They were both under here, but... Look at that. They made like a little tunnel to go under this box. They're so cute. I don't want to bother them too much. And do you see? She just popped out. I wanted to get a few more things for the cage and I just received a couple of my packages so I thought I'd give you an unboxing. Right now I have a few water bowls and I only have one water bottle so I want to get another water bottle. I also wanted to get the water bowls that can hang off the side. Right now I have them on the bottom and obviously I change them every day. They always love digging around the bedding up here and it just always gets into this bowl. So I think it would be nice to have some that I could hang higher up that wouldn't have that issue. So I ordered some off Amazon. I think these are originally for dog crates. So it hang. Oh great, and this is, this is massive. I don't know if you can tell. This is my hand. She's hefty. And I got two. I'm gonna be putting the other half of this double critter nation once I introduce the older girls with these new ones. So these will definitely come in handy. I only have one water bottle right now, and obviously I have girls in here and I have girls in another cage. So the older girls have the water bottle, which is also leaking, which is so annoying. The label says like, leak proof, it won't leak, blah, 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 but of course it does. Drip proof, that's what it says. 
I don't know if you can see that. It has a little carrot. It's so cute. It's so that you can see where like the water level is to see if you need to fill it up. Then we have quite a big package, which is kind of annoying. It's pretty much empty. I wanted to pick up a hide. I went on Amazon and I found this one. She is hefty. This is so big. This is again from Living World. My hand, this thing is like very, very, very big. Like it's huge. I like that this is like opaque versus the little igloos I have are kind of see-through, which doesn't give them like full, full privacy. If you've ordered rat supplies from Amazon, you know sometimes it's like assorted colors and you don't really get to choose, which kind of messes with a theme. Like I'm trying to have a theme, which isn't very cohesive. Like I don't really have a theme. I just go with like pink, green, and yellow. Now we have blue because it said assorted colors. This was I think $5.75 or something. It was five bucks for this massive thing, which I thought was great. I was reading the reviews, which is very important when you're shopping online, I've learned, and people were complaining that it was too big and then they didn't have enough space in their like hamster holder or something like that, but I'm not complaining. A couple days after I got this, I went to Walmart, I picked some other stuff up, but I saw these, which were, they're five dollars there as well, but they had a bunch of different colors. They had green and stuff like that, which I, I would have preferred green, but now we have blue. Inside the package, it came with a bunch of these brown papers, which I rip up and put into the cage, and my rats use it to like forage, and they put it in their little hides and stuff like that. They love this. Like I filled a whole basket up with shredded paper like this, and now it's totally empty, and they have it in their mini igloos. Like it's so, so cute. Like I mentioned, I picked something up from Walmart. I've been wanting a big like dog rope that I could hang across. The thing is this won't go the whole length of the cage, which was the idea I was thinking in my head. And this is the longest rope that they had there. I was thinking maybe I could untie this like center knot and it would be a bit longer. I think I'm gonna give this like a wash first before I put it in there with the girls. Oh my God, this knot is in there tight. That is my little haul. Let me put some of the stuff inside the cage. It's dripping just a little bit right now as I'm installing it. So I'm just gonna put some tissue underneath just to catch that. I have it just on top of this pumice stone, which hopefully they'll step on and it'll help deal with their nails. Because I already have a water bowl down here on the bottom, I thought that kind of covered the low area, so I wanted to put it higher up. But again, I have that white water bowl there, so I didn't want to put it too high. I thought this was a good in-between height for it. And I'm gonna just add in that rip paper into this little basket here so that they have to come grab it and take it out and bring it. I'm also gonna refill this tissue box. This used to be filled with paper, but they took it all. Yes, I'm talking about you. Hi. You took all the paper. We've got someone digging around. pattern coming in on her back it's dark and then on the sides it's lighter gray and it fades to white <laughs> bringing the paper in I really need your help figuring out what to name them. I would really appreciate if you left comment suggestions down below. I think I want to go with like a natural sort of outdoor garden themed. Um, for example, Sprout kind of gives me nature vibes. So something like that. Wow, this little girl's really going crazy. Hi, honey. Hi. I'm gonna post a video introducing these little girls with my bigger girl, Sprout and Dumpling. So if you're interested in watching that, be sure to subscribe to the channel so you can see that. I also always post vlogs, and even if it's just about my day-to-day -day life, I always include the rats and give little updates like that. So again, be sure to subscribe, turn those post notifications on. I also post stories of the rats constantly, so you can follow my Instagram, Alexandra Period Stott, to check those out for, you know, daily updates on the rats. <laughs> Look at both of these in the little Sputnik. Well, the big Sputnik. This is an extra large size Sputnik. Hi! Oh my gosh! They spend a lot of time in their igloo, so it's so cool to see them in another spot in the cage. This is our little dwarf girl, and this is our roan pattern one. Over there. <laughs> yes, I'm talking about you. Hi, cuties. 
They're both Dumbo, if you couldn't tell by the ears. 